For this week's landscape lesson, I want to focus a little bit on a few plants that actually have multi-purpose use. We all like to multitask. These are actually things you can eat that allow you to eat more than one plant part. Let's start with hibiscus, beautiful flowers that last one day. They actually taste like a very tangy, very interesting cranberry. So you can eat the blossoms, pull the stamens out. They are, they are not great to eat. If you've ever had hibiscus tea, that is the, the uh, taste that you get from the hibiscus. A second really interesting one to me is okra. If you're from the south, of course, you eat okra. If you're from the north, you think of it as a slimy thing that's in soup. Not true. You can grill the pods, you can roast the pods, you can slice the pods, you can pickle the pods. Interestingly enough, you can also eat the flowers, which are very, very beautiful. And this is related to hibiscus, so maybe that makes some sense. A third one that most people are really familiar with is sunflower. We think of eating sunflower for the seeds. You can't go to a baseball game without sunflower seeds, of course, or you feed the birds and they like sunflower or safflower. So the seeds certainly are edible. So are the flower petals and the buds can actually be eaten like artichokes. So you think about the form of that bud of a sunflower and they kind of look like a little bitty artichoke. So another really interesting way to think about using a, a, a plant as an unusual edible in your garden. Of course, a lot of people like peas, don't like to pod them necessarily, but they like to eat the snap peas and eat the whole pod. You can eat the tendrils or the, or the tender shoots of field peas and of regular edible peas. They're very tasty in salads. You can also eat the flowers of peas. You do wanna be careful, however, because if they are not peas that are meant for consumption, if you eat, for example, the peas of sweet peas, which are grown for the flowers, those are poisonous, you're gonna go belly up, or at least your belly is not gonna be happy with that.